excuse the uh, messiness there, but we got what we got. So we're drawing this, and we're drawing this as a still life, but we're drawing basic shapes to form, and we're trying to make it look like it's a 3D form, right? So see, these are basic forms, but in reality, this is just a drawing. So we're going to take the cylinder, which is like this, and we're going to take the cube, like this, right? And we're going to take the ball, which is not a ball, it's a half ball, but the sphere, like that. We're going to draw those here. So we're going to use this as a reference, and this is online, if you're looking online. I'm going to start out by drawing this cube. So there's a, many ways you can do this, and this is off to the left of my page, or to the right, Three lines. I like doing this. And see, we're keeping it with parallel with the edge of your paper. Three lines. One is a little bit lower on our page than the other two. Keep these lines about the same length. And then we're going to go here and here. That's the bottom. We're going here and here. That's going to be the top front. Now let's worry about doing the flat, this part, okay? So we're going to go straight there, and we're going to go there. These lines are parallel, and these two lines are parallel. They go side by side, the same direction. So there's our little um, cube. Now let's put a round a circle. If you look, that's directly on top of there, so it's sitting there. And it's, it's not as big as this cube here, but it's, so we're drawing a circle sitting here over top of. That's how you get it to look like it's overlapping or sitting on top of. We'll go back and erase that in a minute. Now for this cylinder over here, basically it's a circle because it's laying down. And look at where that circle is. It's The bottom part is all a little up from the bottom of that straight across and then the top part of that and notice that this circle is a little ways away from the end of the cube so I know that it's about that far away and I know that the bottom is somewhere here the top is somewhere here and so we're going to make us a circle that lives here so that's the end of the cylinder there we go and if you look at this, it kind of goes back through there. See, that's in the same direction. Those are parallel lines. It goes back and back. And then we're going to cut this off. See how that's rounded there? Because it's round in front. And you can see a little bit right there. You may not be able to see it in your particular drawing. And that's all right. So the idea here is that you're getting a general placement and getting the general form. So you're using shapes as the fronts of these, so to speak, and then turning them into form because you're making it three-dimensional, more than one side. They're not forms. Form is something three-dimensional. Shape is flat. So, but when you take an add value to these, you even create the illusion of form a little bit more. Okay, so here's, now let's worry about, let, look at where the table is, right here, right there. So if we kind of guesstimate, like it comes out here, straight across, it would be here. Okay, that doesn't look quite right. But it's quick and easy, I wanted to try to get this uploaded to you guys today. So that's our cube. Now, there's a number of ways you could draw that cube. I didn't realize people were having such a hard time drawing cubes. Another way would be to draw the top part first, like a diamond. And then do three legs. And do this. Okay, so that's another way to draw that cube. It's, now, maybe it could be a little taller. So we're just extending those legs and then you would erase that part. But that's the basic gist of how to draw this um, 
still life, go in here and add shadow where you see shadow everywhere. Okay. What I like to do is I go over it once with a, just a general shadow area. Then I'll go back and I'll look for sh darker spots inside those shadow, shadow areas. Now this is online on Google Classroom, a much better image. So give it a try and see what happens.